Well, the Cascarena Municipal Airport has been part of the community for uh, a very long time. It started off as a military training facility, and over the years it's progressed and grown and to what, it's, what you can see today. It's, we have a 5,200 foot long uh, runway, it's 100 foot wide. The facilities include 52 hangars, uh, T hangars, so that basically garages for planes. We have uh, 18 shade hangars and then uh, numerous tie downs that can be used by aviators visiting Casa Grande or call, who call Casa Grande home. Our terminal facility is about 4,800 4, square feet and inside of it we, we offer a pilot, a pilot shop, a smaller pilot shop where people can come in and get some oil, get necessities for their trips across country or just in and out. In addition, we also have a uh, pilot's lounge where uh, aviators can come and kind of kick back and relax a little bit. Use, utilize the, the internet if they need to to, do, uh, to help plan their routes. Uh, we have meeting spaces, we have a kind of a kitchen area. We also have you know, bathrooms with some showers in case uh, for those people who are making long term or long trips across country, they can stop in and kind of freshen themselves up for their last leg. This is a general aviation airport, so most of the people that use it are private aircraft owners. Uh, however, we do get a large number of flight schools from up in the valley that like to come down and utilize our instrument landing uh, system uh, equipment to do their touch and goes, to train their pilots on uh, utilizing that inf those instruments as well as landing and taking uh, opportunity to come in and discuss how their flight was going with their students and plan the next uh, part of their leg of their trip. Casa Grande Airport is so inviting because of its low fuel prices. We offer both low lead and jet A fuel. We offer uh, full service and self service. So a lot of people actually fly down from the valley to just purchase fuel from us. In addition to that, we, we have great infrastructure here. We have the instrument landing system. We have precision approach pathway indicators. The climate is here for, from a, a, from a aviation side is perfect. It's got great visibility, it's got great weather, 360 plus days a year. Um, so people really love to come here and just relax and you know with the runway it was just overlaid last year which basically means it's, it's, re it's been resurfaced. We're doing work on our taxiways to smooth it out so people have been very complimentary about our facilities here and they like to come here. In 2009, the city adopted a master plan for the airport, which calls for the extension of the runway from 5,200 feet to 8,400 feet and also to strengthening it. This would allow for any aircraft, any size aircraft, to utilize this airstrip. In fall of 2012, we completed a project that brought new taxiway signs, taxiway markings, a new electric vault, as well as new runway lights that are LED. Now, LED means that they're more energy efficient, they're lower, they require lower maintenance, they last longer, and we are the first one in Arizona to have them, and probably one of the first ones in the country. So we're very excited about that. In the short term, the city received a grant that will help provide for an extension of an apron, additional apron, which will allow us to build an upwards of 38 new hangar units. This is desperately needed commodity for the airport is we have a waiting list of 25 people just waiting for hangars to open up for us to build them. In addition to that, we have a need of upwards of 40 new shade hangars to accommodate the waiting list that currently exists for that. We have a number of groups that actually that utilize the terminal for their meetings on a monthly basis. The Arizona Antique Aircraft Association, Arizona Modelers, we have an, an experimental aircraft group that meets here, and also the Civil Air Patrol holds their monthly meetings. A couple of the major events that we have at the airport include the Copper State Fly-In and the Cactus Fly-In. These are held once a year, one in October and one in March. They both bring in several hundred planes that include old antique air, aircraft, old warbirds, experimental in, aircraft, and uh, it's a great time for the family and for the kids. It's open to the public, and I highly encourage anyone to come out and check them, uh, come out and have some fun with it. In addition to that, we also provide a monthly breakfast. It's the last Saturday of the month, and it starts at 7 o'clock, and it's a great opportunity for people to come in, um, and they just fly in. You'll see this, this whole uh, apron filled with planes, and just sit down and talk about old stories.